to my channel and today's video we're gonna be talking about some of the things that I wish someone would have told me before graduating college um, it's just when you graduate you go through college you kind of not handheld but you kind of know what's going on when you leave college you're kind of thrown into the world you have to find a job immediately because payments are starting to do so it's just what the things I wish I knew before like you know when you're in college that when you get out you have to find a job you know when you're in college you have to figure out where you're going where you're going to stay where you're going to live you're going to go back home those are the type of things you already know but what doesn't hit you until like later on what doesn't hit you until a couple months down the line when summer's over and everyone's going back to school what stuff that hits you then so I have a list of five things I'm gonna give you of what hit me and some of the people in my group um, after we graduated college. So if you've been paying attention or watching any of my videos, you know I graduated from Old Dominion University back in 2019, a bachelor's degree in business administration. That's a handful to say. But the first thing that we all kind of got together and the biggest thing I think that we people we can talk about is the financial um, aspect of it. Um, at least for me, I know that now growing up, there's, there's a couple classes, especially in high school, that teach you about money and finances. But when I was 10 years ago in high school, graduate high school, there wasn't there. Um, college didn't really have it. Cool, you can take a class, but you're paying for that class and you really didn't want to pay for You already got to pay for all these other classes. You don't pay, want to pay for another class that's going to teach you how to manage your money and spend money. You don't want to do that. So when you're in college and everyone's spending money left and right, you have a cool part-time job on campus and now you're spending money because you want to go to that party. You have homecoming, so you buy that ticket. You have this, you know, your food is paid for, your housing is paid for, like kind of the important things are already paid for because you live either on campus, you have the money to live off campus, regardless, some type of, or you live at home with your parents because you can, can commute to school, but regardless, you have some thing that's taken care most people have something that's taken care of that situation so when you actually end up leaving college you have to figure out a way to manage all that so it was like how am I going to manage finding a job and then once I get a job now it's paying me how do I have the financial literacy to deal with the new money I'm making and not just spend money crazy how do I deal with being able to pay off my debt from college how do I deal with now I'm in the real world and I either have racked up debt, like how do I deal with that? And now hindsight being 2020, I wish I would have taken some type of advice from an, either an elder, some type of like, because I know there were types like um, different, not paid classes, but different like groups to kind of teach you about that. Or even if I would have had to pay for a class in college, I would have done that because Hindsight's always twenty twenty. When you can see from the back end of it all, you'd be like, "Dang, I wish I would have done that in college because it would have helped me for now." And like I said, spending it is not fun to be in debt. It is not fun to be like, "Dang, where am I got the money for this?" It's not fun to be. The, I need money for this. How am I gonna pay this? When you gotta get a credit card to pay something off, it's, that stuff is not fun. So if you pay attention and learn those steps while you're in college, while you got a little bit. Of, little bitty itty bitty money while you sit here working that part-time job on campus that's literally giving you maybe $200. My other job on campus that was giving me I think $300 a month but I made it work because I did like I said I didn't have to pay for food I had, a, I had an on-campus meal plan I didn't have to pay for housing because either I lived on campus or I got money from school that was therefore paying me to live um, where I was living. Um, I just didn't need anything so everything was paid for on campus for the main part the only thing I had to pay for is if I wanted I had a scholarship for like my books and stuff like that so it was like the only thing that I needed outside of that was oh I want extra food I want fancy food or I want to go out to eat or I want this drink or I need this outfit then I had to work for that so in college especially when I went with my sisters you can share clothes you're with your friends you can share clothes it's not really a big deal but like you start to want to do tickets for things, for events, drinks, stuff like that. As food is where the money starts to rack up. Everyone knows food's going to get everybody. There's not one person out here that's going to sit here and be like, oh, no, I don't want food. I want X. No, everyone will go eat. So financial literacy is the biggest tip I can learn, help tell you about. Learn that while you're in college. Learn it while you're in high school. If you don't go to high school or college, just learn to be financial literate. Learn your financial literacy um because debt is not fun 
The next thing I want to talk about is the friendships that you have um, outside of college. So when you are in school, you have classes with people, you can make friends. You have organizations and groups that you're a part of, or um, just either whether it be like on campus organization, or whether that be a sorority, fraternity, whether that be a whatever it is, there's organizations that you're a part of on campus where you can join and meet people who have similar interests as you. You're in classes and you can either join classes, organizations for those classes and groups for those classes, or you can have your own situation. Regardless of what it may be, it's easy to make, it's easier to make friends in college than it is when you're outside of college. Um, and at least in my experience, in some of my friends' experience, especially like going through the whole COVID time, it was, it's harder especially after COVID. Everyone wants to be on a, everyone wants to be on an app and now they've kind of a big thing that people have been doing is like different organizations. So people have done like oh a um, run club or a book club or some type of clubs outside of college that once now that we can join. But it's still interesting to say the least. It's still a lot harder. So like for me, I'm not a runner. I just I used to be back in school days. I'm not no more. So it's harder to make friends and genuine because everyone's like afraid to talk to people now in person for the first time when you don't know everyone's afraid of that so it's just different um like i said being in high school being in college you can cool cool we, i keep seeing you that's how i met one of my best friends is i was like dang hi nice to meet you we we both came i remember seeing er, i remember seeing you earlier we're both here my name is da, 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 or the organization put you in groups where it's like icebreaker challenges and groups and you get to know people when you get out of college you really don't have your job is not going to host a icebreaker challenge for everyone to get to know each other now nah, you get in there you do your work you, you work if you make friends with people you work with cool but if not it's harder like for me my job everyone is older there so i'm really not going to make too many like friends with the people I work with because they're like I'm 28 but the people I work with are like eight like 50 60 I'm not really making friends let's go out to the bar with a 50 year old lady just not doing that it's not really my vibe so therefore it's a lot harder to make friends and a lot of people do end up making friends with people that they work with I just don't have a job where I can do that but like I said I had my friend and she went to and joined a run club I had another friend she joined a um like a social book club reading club um i had some friends that joined like a cooking class a lot of people outside of that just don't i have another friend who got really big into the church so she started meeting people from there but it's to me personally and even what they said it's harder to make friends and meet people outside of like in the adult world it's hard making friends and sometimes when you have those friends from college it is difficult because when you're in college, cool, I'm just gonna knock on your door, ding, 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 because you're across the hall from me, or we live together, or whatever, I have a car, let me just drive over real quick. It's easier um, when you're in high school, you literally have classes together, or cool, we're hanging out at the mall, it's easier. When for me, in my situation, like I said, my friend, she lives down in Atlanta. I really can't just, you know, one weekend, hey, I'm gonna drive down, that's a nine hour drive. Who's driving that? Just because, like, love her down, but who's doing that? So it gets difficult when you get older. You realize that when you go to college, a lot of people who went to school don't live in that area. Grant, I went to ODU and ODU is very much a commuter school, so a lot of people do actually live in that area. But most of the time, I believe you're not making the people who go to a school don't live in the area unless it is a commuter school so you may have a friend who lives in, from california who's here in virginia because she goes to school here and then someone from texas and then someone from all florida you all over the world to go to school here so when you graduate and they end up going back home now you still have to make those relationships work with the distance and it gets hard you have, even with some of my friends that looks like ODU was a commuter school, so a lot of my friends do, did end up living down in the 757 area, but it was still hard because I lived in Fredericksburg and then I ended up moving up north to like Northern Virginia, Falls Church. So it was still hard because Fredericksburg from Norfolk is still a two and a half hour drive. 
So it's still making that time, taking that time out, knowing I want this friendship to work and what can we do to make it work. At one point, I had a friend that would drive up. He would drive up one week, like we would skip a week, and then the following week, I would drive down. So it's like almost every other week, we were seeing each other, like on a routine. And then it gets difficult when people get in relationships and they have other priorities because now they're like, okay, why is she coming to see you so often? Why are you going to see him so often? It gets difficult because, again, you're significant other. But then knowing where the boundary lies, so keeping and making friendships is something I wish I would have you can't really learn how to do that I guess in college but it's something I would have preferred to I guess think more about and better prepare myself for that situation next or tip number what three is I wish I would have done an internship would have done like a campus job that was more involved with where I wanted to do in my career um, again, I got a business administration degree, so really can do a lot of stuff, a lot of admin stuff, just a lot of business aspect stuff. Um, but the job I had on campus was with the Student Activities Council, so the one we were in charge of like hosting events on campus, promoting the events on campus, running them. So we dealt from the literally coming up with the idea all the way to we were the people reaching out to the places to get the vendors to the school or reaching out to different organizations to bring find a way to get us to the venue or to where the event was like um so we did all that and then actually running the the day of event so making sure that the vendors clock in with you making sure the bus gets there on time to take them to this person place making sure for the concert that you're the that you have someone at the airport to pick up the performer like the whole thing from start to finish was on us so it did kind of give me a lot of like experience into that because I can take that because we had to do contracts we had to do like I said work with professional companies not just kids in the school so I had a lot of experience from that but it still didn't look too great because it was still like an on-campus job that was maybe technically only got paid for eight hours a week so even I'm way putting way more than that but it was that that helped me more than anything else that I wish I would have done something like a um, like I said an internship because an internship would have put me in a clear path on a job it would have been like this is a company that I'm working with that could possibly give me a job or narrow down or something I can put on my resume to make me look more um, enticing to these people who I'm applying for jobs for Um, I graduated in 2019 and I didn't get my first like corporate big girl job until um, this year 2024 actually Um, before then I was working in retail as a um, assistant store manager and a store manager did not like it hated it it was something I knew it was good money but it just doesn't wasn't what fueled my fire it was something that I was excited about it was just something that paid so definitely wish I would have done more digging into the career path of it all while still in college. Because you put in all the work when you're in college, when you take it out of college, it becomes so much easier. There were so many places that were looking for, when I was looking for jobs outside of college or after college, there were so many jobs that were saying, oh, we'll take you if you graduate next year. I'm like, I already graduated. You can't, like, I have my degree. But they want to kind of mold you into the person they want to make sure the last couple classes I got just kind of do that whole spiel but I couldn't do anything with it because X Y Z um, is something that either like one of a couple classes that we clearly can't I mean I could go back and take but it just wasn't beneficial for me to go back and take um, if you would have been taking classes and internships while you were in college then it can be different programs that they can tell you to sign up for that make you look more um, competitive when you're applying for jobs. There's different lessons and different things you would have learned taking those internships. You would have had those corporate names already under your belt before even graduating. So that's a big thing that I wish I would have done before I graduated college. Tip number four is... Even though it may not be your dream job outside of college or right after college, it's a job. Um, A lot of people who do jobs don't typically come into their dream job right away. There are some people who get lucky and they get that job at Google and they get that job at X, Y, and Z. But 
like for me, I did not get the dream job, but I had a job. It was a job that was keeping me out of debt. It was a job that was paying me very well. It was a job that was letting me travel and buy the luxury items I want and move out of my parents' house. It was a job that was allowing me to do all of that, all those things, but it just wasn't my dream job. Like I hated waking up and going to work, but I had a job. So knowing that when you graduate, just when you graduate high school, I'm at college, you are not guaranteed a job like you're not and so many people really expect that they be like okay here's your degree and here's your job that's it's like i did what i was supposed to do i went to college i i went to high school graduated high school with an advanced degree in high school and then i went to college did my big one in college and now i'm here and i got my degree and i don't like this job this is not what i wanted i wanted to be a x y i wanted to be a doctor why am i someone's assistant or why am i a nurse like that's not what i wanted there are steps to this that either you didn't realize why you were in college or it's just like this was an opportunity that will possibly open a door for something even better and sometimes you have to take those opportunities and take those steps and sometimes humble yourself because just because you went and you were the best of the best back in school doesn't mean you're the best of the best of the world there's someone who's better than you and so it has more achievement than you and has and did better at that internship than you. So you're not always going to be that top of the line. You may have been the top of the line in your college days, but now that's over. And so now you have to find something in the real world. And it's not settling because you can always be striving for better and striving for those raises and striving for that promotion. But at the time, you take what you can get because, like I said at the beginning, you do have loans now to pay. You do have bills now to pay. You do have life to deal with, and you need that check. Let's be honest. And then the very last thing I want to get into, the very last tip I'm going to share with you today about what I knew before graduating college. And this video is not to scare anybody because college, like once you graduate, I personally, I think my sister, um, I had a friend, everyone I know just about went through a like graduate depression, like a, a it's like you get down on yourself because you can't find a job or if you find a job that's paying you $30,000 a year, you can't really live off that. So it's hard. You're not alone. If you are going through that, you are not alone. Everyone literally, um, just about, I'm not going to say everyone, but a lot of people go through that. Like it's, I don't remember what they call it, the postgraduate depression where you did all your stuff in college, you got your degree, you walked that stage, you had that party. And now you can't, you either you can't find a job or you hate your job. And most likely is you can't find a job because you graduate college and a job and an entry level job now wants you to have a job with four years of experience. How? You know I just graduated. I'm just coming from the stage and you want me to have four or five years of experience. How was I going to do that? So you wanted me to get an internship fresh out of high school. You wanted me to start working when I was 18 so I could be ready now when I graduate it's 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 a thing it's hard but you're not like I said you're not alone and the last tip I'm going to the last tip I'm going to give is kind of back on the financial tip of it all of just because you graduated college and you feel like you should be out living on your own now you don't have to save your money save your coin if you got a job especially if your job is not paying you that well save your money don't be ashamed to be living at home with your parents don't be ashamed to be have to have a roommate to afford anything don't be ashamed because this isn't the luxury um floor to ceiling windows and overlooking the city and like apartment that you condo that you home that you've been dreaming of that you expected to have because you had that good job right out of college like relax a lot of people are like that like i said you are not alone in the situation it is super hard to find a job out of college it is super hard to be able to live on your own point blank period whether you i'm 28 years old been graduated for what, four or five years now still live at home so i get it like i said you're not alone you won't be alone you're not gonna be the last one that's gonna happen to but you have to be able to understand that it's not gonna be easy you got put in work you're gonna have to look for jobs 
probably every day don't just blankly apply for jobs um but just look for a job like you know search make sure doctor up your resume to look for jobs but you will eventually find that job you will eventually be able to move out on your own but you have to get to, you have to work the process to get there like i said that process comes to a point where you have to live with a roommate for a few years or you have to stay at home and live with mom and dad to save money and to be able to afford that house or save money to be able to afford to get to a point where you can get a better job therefore afford to live on your own do not rush it save your money um it will be worth it in the end you won't have all that massive debt that everyone's talking about you save your money live at home pay off your student loans so you don't have to deal with that like make it better for yourself in the long run because right this time you are in your 20s maybe your 30s you are still young you have a whole entire life to live ahead of you you at this point this is when people say take those trips and do x y and z explore life you can do that while living at home with mom and dad you don't have all those or living with your aunt or living with your best friend you can do that because you're not paying all that money by yourself if you're still living at home with mom and dad you can save money you can go on those trips because you have money that you can use for those trips if you were on your own all that money would be spent on rent and bills you yes don't just live at home live mooch off your family but live at home help them with a little bit of something pay a couple bills at home and you're not taking the whole brunt of it all you're helping everyone every, it benefits everyone doing this um you'll be able to take those trips how do you think i'm being I'm, i've been able to take all the trips i've taken this year Think about it. I went to January of the year at the cabin. February, I went to uh, New Orleans. March, I don't remember what I did in March. I went on a cruise in April, April June, April. I went to um, to Atlanta once this year. I've, I've, I've taken trips this year. But the only reason why I've been able to do this is because I've been living at home. So I'm not paying all the bills. I'm paying some of the bills, but I still have money that I can use on other things. I'm not using all that my money to, to pay my rent, to pay my car, to pay the cell phone, to pay the cable, to pay the, like, it's split, so it works. Take that to, into account. Take that into, let me get debt free before I move out and now all my money is spent on that. And I still have extra money now because everything is paid off. I have no credit card debt. Let me stay at home. So, those are my tips. I hope that helped. And this is just to encourage you. Like I said, you are not alone. You are not the only one. There are plenty of people. And there's a chance that you may not go through this. If you haven't graduated college yet, don't get all depressed talking about, she said, I'm going to be depressed. No, I'm not saying you guarantee will be. But if you start going through that, it's normal. I'm trying to normalize it and be like, you're not crazy. You're not the only one. You're not alone. A lot of people, like I said, I went through it. When I graduated high school, I mean college, I was like, why can't I find a job? I hear about my friend, she's a teacher now. I hear about my friend, she's, she, he works at an engineering company. I hear about my friend and doing, they're doing this. I hear about this and they're doing this. Social media, everyone's going to post a positive on social media. Ain't no one going to go on social media and be like, dang, I just lost my job. And da, 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 da. Like, you're not, people are just, are not doing that. And if they are, that's crazy. But they're just not doing that. People want to promote the good things. Oh, I just got a promotion. Oh, I just bought a house. Oh, me and so and so are having expending a baby. Like they promote the good stuff. They don't promote. I just lost my job. This is my fourth try for a baby. Like they just are not saying the negative behind it all. So don't just think just because you didn't get a job but your friend did, or you didn't get a job but the girl you, you know in your class did. Don't sh beat yourself up over it. It will happen for you. Give it time. Give it time. And even if it does, like, start taking different classes. Like, I was going, I have started to going into getting my project management certification. Get some certifications under your belt. If you have to go back to school and get your master's, go back and get your master's. There are ways to make you more competitive. Look them up and start doing them. Start doing them now. So, therefore, you don't have to worry about it later. So, I hope this helps. I hope this encouraged you. I hope this gave you some type of motivation. And yeah, I will see you in my next video. Bye.